Hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? I'm doing great. <laughs> nice weekend, ready to go. Better to get next weekend. A nice weekend and I'm ready to go. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> ready to go. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. I, I am, I am, I was working. Working? On yes, but weekend. Wow, all the weekend I work, you know. No, right now I was working a little bit uh, with the platform, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But anyway, I believe it's good to to see some some points. Did you finish? Did you advance in the platform or what? Um. Well, I suppose that I cannot because. Uh, we can we can do it together. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, yeah, I have seen, but I haven't done it, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. what, no, just it, you don't have to. The idea is sometimes some people like to try to go ahead and try to do things. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I have seen something about speaking, you know. A little bit. It's a little bit different in the exam. Because in the exam is is has to be specific. It's more academic. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. It, it with another another kind of vocabulary. Exactly, and it's also a different structure. That is why. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. How about the rest? How's everybody else? I see. William Quiet, Nicole. How are you guys? Everything was okay? Hi, good evening. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay. Great. Well, today, guys, it's gonna we're gonna start off this week. It's gonna be a little bit different. Um, this week is actually about speaking. Um, as we were mentioning with Sandra, the speaking is a little bit different on the exam than normal. For example, <laughs> when I speak to Sandra, I can have my ideas in different places, in different orders. Uh, I can use common vocabulary. It's not such a big deal because if I make a mistake, Sandra understands me, right? Uh, because I can use my hand expressions, my gestures, my facial. And these are all of the things that are very important for communication. But in the exam, it's not the same. In the exam, it's different. How is it different? Well, the exam is only your voice. It's all about what you say and not how you say it. So we're going to learn a few things that are necessary to keep in mind when we have it. In the exam, it's always going to be a very formal way. You're going to have a moment where they're going to give you the question. You're going to have between 15 and 30 seconds to think of your answer. And then you have the time to record your answer. So in this aspect, it's a little bit different, but we're going to work on it to make sure that you understand how it works. Okay. So first, let's start off by watching. Oh, yes, Jefferson. Okay. Uh, teacher, yes, during Jefferson. the exam, is we should should we use a formal language? Because, for example, I know that in a regular conversation. We can use some contraction, but in when we are speaking in the test, we should uh, speak in a more formal language. Yes, a little bit more in the formal, but also you need to use different types of vocabulary and different structures. You get different points for how you speak. Um, some of the questions, as we're going to learn, are personal. Some of them are in reference to what a prompt you're given and others are to images. Uh -huh. So the important is when you speak in the exam, you have to organize your idea. It's not like when I speak to Walter and I say, Walter, how was your week? And he says, oh, Sunday this, Saturday this, oh, Friday. I, forgot. I understand because Walter is a friend and we're talking. But when you speak for the exam, you cannot go in this order. You have to go in chronological order, or you have to go in a way that's organized or in a way that you can describe using common words. 
So that's the harder part for getting more points on the speaking exam. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jeff thank you. You're welcome, Jefferson. You're welcome. Okay. So anybody else, any questions? Guys. Okay. So let's watch a little bit about the ideas of the videos that we have here. Let me share with you before we begin our practice. Mm -hmm. Intro to speaking. Welcome to our speaking section. In this section, we will go through challenges of speaking, about the speaking section, a type of question, speaking practice. Okay. So as you can see, we're going to learn quite a few things. Um, several things we're going to talk about in this unit, challenges of speaking, what we already discussed, which is how it's different compared to speaking with people um, naturally uh, about the speaking section, the types of questions, because you have different types of questions that are asked. And then, of course, our practice. OK, these are very important. Here are some of the challenges that people face when speaking. One of the biggest challenges about speaking is timing. Becoming fluent will help you deal with it. Fluency refers to speaking with accuracy and natural speed. So it's all about speed and what you say how much we're having the ideas for it to flow nicely. Here, we'll take a look. The speaking section of the TOEFL test measures your ability to convey ideas. Your response should demonstrate effective use of grammar and vocabulary. It should be well-developed and coherent. Okay, so what are we talking about? What is coherent? Coherent is the section that means like logical that you're the way that you're talking what you're saying it's not being crazy like oh you start talking about one thing and then you change for another that's the important part uh here are a couple of questions that we're going to see and how they are these are two different types of questions so that we have an idea of first what we're going to be asked we're now going over the speaking section we'll go over independent questions one and two so in the next few minutes, we're going to look at how the questions are structured, what they ask, some tips you may take into account, response features, as well as what you will be evaluated on. Finally, we'll also look at a sample question. So here is generally what the questions will look like and how they are structured. For both questions one and two, sometimes you will be given a topic to speak about with additional reading or listening passages. You will have 15 seconds to prepare your response and 45 seconds to speak your answer. Now let's look more closely at what the independent speaking questions will be asking you to do. Question one. Question one will ask you to speak about a person, place, object, or event that is familiar to you. Here's an example. Talk about a pleasant and memorable event that happened while you were in school. Explain why this event brings back fond memories. In question two, you will be presented with two situations or opinions. You will be asked which you prefer and you need to explain your choice. Here's an example. Some people think it is more fun to spend time with friends in restaurants or cafes. Others think it is more fun to spend time with friends at home. Which do you think is better? Explain why. Now here are some tips for how to approach these kinds of speaking questions. Number one, use the preparation time to organize your thoughts and maybe write down some notes. Don't try to write a full response because you won't have time. Don't memorize responses. Memorize responses will lower your score. They sound different and the content is different. Also take into account that you need to speak naturally and use common connection words and phrases such as because, so, after that, on the other hand, I want to mention what this means is these features in your response will help you get a better score. Have a clear and fluid speech. Have good pronunciation, natural pace. 
you will also be evaluated on delivery. Your speech needs to be clear and fluid with good pronunciation. The pace or speed of your speech should be natural and you should have good sounding intonation patterns. Language use. This is mainly how you use grammar and vocabulary to express your ideas. And third, topic development. This is mainly how fully you answer the question, how clearly you express your ideas, and how you can connect one idea to the next in a way that is easy to follow. Now, let's take a moment and look at that. We're now going over the speaking section. Okay, here we're gonna have a few things that we want to be focused on. First, it says, use preparation time to organize your thoughts. In this case, what I want you to understand is you do not have time to really give your answer. You only have time to try to organize what you're going to talk about. Are you gonna talk about a past? Are you gonna compare it? Are you gonna talk? You really only have a little bit of time because 15 seconds is not long. It's just enough time for you to pick a topic, decide what's important, and then try to come up with some ideas for it. It says, number two, take notes, but don't write full responses. To be honest, I've tried this in some of the tests myself personally, and I found that it's too hard. Um, I found that when I did it myself, when I took the TOEFL exam and I tried to write it, it takes longer because I'm trying to write the response and I feel that it takes longer than try to organize in my head because I have to write it and then I want to develop it. And before I realized it, I only had one sentence or two and my time was done and I had to give my response. Um, some people maybe are better at organizing it. And if you want to try it, that's fine. I suggest that you try to organize it better in your head, not so much for writing it down. Here uh, it says you want to hear your speaking, not reading. So the raters, those are the people that are going to evaluate you. Uh, that means that they're interested in not but of what you wrote down it, because it sounds completely different. When you write something down and you read it, even if you try to imitate it, it sounds very, very different compared to just speaking. So you're going to get less points if you're not speaking and you are reading. So remember, the idea is not like it says, don't memorize the response. Just try to organize your ideas, okay? Because that's going to help you the most. Uh, memorized response will, will definitely lower your scores. It, they can hear it because it sounds different. So we're going to practice a couple of them. Here we, we had two of them. Remember, we want to use common words like the reasons why you explain, like the words because, so, after that. All of these words is things that you want to mention, uh, what you're talking about, what you're comparing. Okay. So remember, we only have about 15 seconds. And then your answer has to be about 45. Okay. That's the hardest part. Any questions? Okay. All right. Jenny, can you please read the question? Question one. Mm -hmm. Speak about a person, place, object, or event that is familiar to you. Here is an example. Talk about a pleasant and memorable event that happened while you were in school. Explain why this event bring back fond memories. Okay. And then if you look 15 seconds, it's only enough for you to make a decision where you want to talk about something that was happy to you, um, something that you liked, and then why this is fun. That fun means why it's good. Boom. Only that, and you have to begin speaking. And then you have to speak for 45 seconds. Now for this, it requires timing. So we're going to try with our partners so that we can get an idea. With our partners, is necessary to watch the time. So when my partner speaks, I'm going to have a timer here on the computer, my cell phone, a watch, whatever you like. But the idea is your partner has to speak for 45 seconds. When your partner is speaking and they are saying, uh, eh, mm, notice it, write it down because you lose points. And if you have less points in speaking, that means that you have to have more points in grammar, more points in reading, more points in the other areas and listening. So remember, it's 
your score is the average or is the total. So if you have less points in one, you need more points in another. So always try to get the maximum points, okay? It's okay? The yes. other is, good. Now the other is, remember the question. The question is important because you cannot speak about a happy moment. No, it's not any happy moment. If you look at the question, the question specifically says, talk about a happy moment, a pleasant and memorable event that happened while you were in school. Explain why this event brings back fond memories. So it's not about, oh, I went to the beach with my family. I had a great time. Oh, my birthday. Yes, it's good. It's, it's a nice that you're speaking, but you are going to have zero points because this is not the question. It's okay? Okay, that is question number one. Then we look at question number two, okay? And question number two here, um, let's take a look. Walter, could you please read question number two for us? Okay, teacher. Some people think it is more fun to spend time with friends in restaurants or cafes. Other things, it, it is more fun to spend time with friends at home. Which do you think is the better explain why? Okay. So you have only a couple of choices, right, Walter? We only have like restaurants and cafes or at home, but it's not about where I like to spend time. And it's mm -hmm. not, it's not only my opinion is I have to use comparatives. It says, which do you think is better? So better, I know it's going to be comparatives. It is cheaper to spend time at home than restaurant. It is nicer to go to restaurant. You need to have some of the vocabulary that they are implying when you are speaking. This is important because if you don't have it, obviously you're going to lose less points because you're only going to explain. But it says, which do you think is better? So I have to compare and then I have to explain, okay? Mm -hmm. So as an example, I would have 15 seconds to prepare, okay? And then I would have to answer, well, um, I think that it's better to spend time at home than in a restaurant because at home you can prepare more delicious food than in a restaurant and you have a wider variety of things to choose from. Not only that, but you have a more intimate settings with your friends, in which case you can talk and laugh about any topic without offending anybody. I don't personally smoke, but if my friends smoked, they would be allowed to smoke in my house versus going out to a restaurant where we're not allowed to smoke because Mm -hmm. Whatever you want, you can develop the pros and the cons. This is the idea. You're comparing, so you have to give your opinion why whatever decision you make is better for you. Okay. So as you can see, 15 seconds, 45 seconds speaking. Then my partner, so that's two minutes. The second question is 15 seconds, then 45 seconds speaking. That's two minutes. That's four minutes. So we're going to have five minutes five minutes. If you don't have a stopwatch, if you don't have a timer, please find one. You're going to need it. You have to be precise. You have to make sure that your partner beep and begin speaking. They have 45 seconds to speak and you have to watch the time. And they have to speak, 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 speak. When your partner is speaking, look at the sentences because if your partner is speaking in 45 seconds and only three sentences, that's going to be a very low score. You should be focusing on trying to get around 12 sentences in wow. 45 seconds. Wow. Yes, it should be around 12 sentences. Why? Because an average, a natural speaker, a slow speaker, but naturally speaks about eight sentences in 30 seconds. Eight sentences. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not a lot. When you think about it, it's four sentences in 15 seconds. For example, 15 sentences. What did you do last weekend? Oh, last weekend I went with my family to the beach and we had a great time. We ate some delicious food such as sushi. And when you realize it, it's not a lot. 
But when you're with pressure, uy, <laughs> you feel that it's a lot. So that's why we're going to practice. So it's clear. We have five minutes, one minute for each partner for the question. And then, so we have two questions, two minutes, and then two questions, the other one. It's okay? Yes. Any comments? No? No, teacher. No? All right. Uh, does anybody have any problems with internet? Anybody is here as a listener, oyente? That way we don't make partners and then, oh, que no pude, que no pude. Que... Anybody? Because in the chat, I didn't see anybody put anything. Urias said that he was, wasn't was going to be with us because he is sick. Uh-huh. Yes, but he's not here, so it's not going to affect the groups. But I think only him, right? Yes, only him. Okay. All right. Then let's try it off. Oh, there's another comment. Hang on. Uh, okay, Julia. Julia has problems with the microphone. So Julia is going to need groups of three. No problem, Julia. We'll, we'll figure it out. Thank you for letting us know. Anybody else have any problems with the microphone or anything else? I don't think so. No? Okay. No. So we'll have a couple groups of three and the majority of two. That way we can get everybody practice. Okay. okay. Remember, we have two questions. A fond memory in school and then which is better? Restaurants or cafes or staying at home? I can see, I can see, I prefer to see you in a restaurant uh, 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 on my home because I don't know, sometimes um, sometimes you have a lot of mess in your house. I don't know, uh, there are a lot of noise. It affects our conversations and uh, interesting topics. I don't know, I think it's better in a restaurant than a house. Okay, time's up. Thank you. Okay. Uh, 
Did you get it? I guess the first question was, do you prefer eating out or at home, right? Uh, I was checking here, there is about a place, about a place. Oh. Mm -hmm. I guess that one, that was um, one of the questions. Um, I have the timer here, if you wish. Um, you can start. Okay. We just remember that oh. uh, we need to speak for 45 seconds. 45 seconds, just to give me a moment. Yes, sure. I will catch you on my timer. Okay, let's start. Okay, um, tell me, do you prefer eating outside or at home? Okay, I do prefer eat, uh, eating at home. I'm sorry, I, ha I had 15 minutes to organize my idea, right? Oh, 15 seconds. 15 seconds, yeah? <laughs> okay, okay, let's start over, okay? okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, let me, let me see. <laughs> okay. okay, okay. 15, okay, let's go again. Um, do you prefer okay. eating outside or at home? And your 15 seconds starts now. Right. Okay, I do prefer eating at home because I can eat more uh, than a restaurant. Also because in a restaurant is going to be more expensive than eating at home sometimes, right? Depending depending on what we want to eat. But honestly, I do prefer to do it, do it uh, at home for the reason I can eat more and I can spare less money. Also, I can share with my other family, maybe with my friends. I can invite them to share this time together and, you know, to uh, probably share some experiences that we may have during the week or planning, you know, another uh, dinner sooner with uh, with our friends and talking or talk about different situation different things um also we can um we can share uh <laughs> okay how did you feel? Pretty fast, right? <laughs> yes. Usually the speaking test is a little bit harder in that it's, you have a lot of pressure. And I realized that when you were speaking, uh, many of you are trying to, uh, I, uh, I, if you finish the 15 seconds, you finish the 15 seconds. And the partners were very nice. I listened to the very partners. No, 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 dale, empezar de nuevo. Toma tu 15 segundos. No, <laughs> the exam, begin recording. What, ya se te fueron, se te fueron. That's, that's it. There is no more time. That You are finished, you are finished. And in the in the recording, begin. Ah, eke, eke, eke. in the recording, that's when it begins <laughs> recording. That, that's it. There is no more time. So this is the part where it's harder for you to learn the difference. Um, but <laughs> go ahead. Sure. This this test uh, measure uh, the ability to request when someone asking me. Yes, it's your your ability to answer under pressure and to be able to give logical and grammar and grammar. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, because okay. I I had heard a couple of them and some of them were a little bit different in the aspect that you were using expressions that are not good for speaking. Mm -hmm. As an example, um, some of the people were saying, ah, uh, you know, you know, you know, you know is not English. You know is an expression yeah. that you use when you don't know. When you but don't teacher, know. but uh, 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 that test uh, now measure the ability to, to answer uh, or speak fast. No. It doesn't matter if you use uh, because so that I speak slowly, comfortable when trying to explain? No, it's not about slow. It's about uh -huh. 
it's about fluency and wow, fluency okay. is uh -huh, and it's a little bit different because okay. fast is is fast but mm -hmm. fluency is speaking without having any mistakes without having any pauses or anything okay. uh-huh and that's going to be different because you can speak english or spanish slowly but yeah. there's a difference between speaking slowly and speaking fluently yeah. when you speak fluently you don't have that long sounds <laughs> and you don't have those pa um uh, those pauses you don't have you know uh, eh, mm, uh, mm -hmm. and, and those are what they are yeah. Yeah. when you speak if you don't have those all of those are points that you lose those are buffers they they are lack of words they're fillers they're all of these different things that you use for the techniques when you don't have an answer Mm -hmm. okay it's like okay. when you say, it, are you married walter yeah exactly so it's kind of the same thing that the technique that you use when your wife says Como me veo en esto? and it looks ugly and you um i got it i got it i got it it's the same technique walter the same technique <laughs> So that's the idea. But I know Fatima also had a question. Fatima, you had a question or a comment? Yes. Uh, actually, well, I'm sorry because I had some internet problems at in the beginning of the class, so I could not hear uh, very well. So I want to know uh, how is the process in this part of the exam? I mean, so someone else will be asking me the question or it will be the computer or... Yes, it's Fatima. like a, uh huh. Yes, yeah. well, it is not a person. Process. No, a, a, a person does not ask you. Everything is computer generated, because Salvadorians are not authorized to record or to grade you. So when you do this test, the exam, the results are not by Salvadorians. They have to send your exam to the United States or to a country that is authorized to score it. And those people score it, and then they send you the exam results back. That's why you do not receive the exam immediately. You receive the exam in so many days. So you're, okay. and, and Fatima, it's good that you mentioned that. And I've mentioned it before, but just one more time to reiterate, it's very important when you take the exam, you are very clear in the exam the day you are taking it. Because if you have problems with internet, if you have problems with computer, if you have problems with microphone, the exam online is not for you. The exam online is not for you. If you have problems with connection, if you have problems with speaking, if you have panaderos near your house, ah, el pan, el pan, la tortilla, la tortilla, the online exam is not for you. Please go to the center take the exam in a place where it's away from the noise. It's a special classroom. It's only for the exam. It's with the microphone, with the headsets, with everything that you need in order to do the complete exam. Now, it's only my recommendation, but it's going to affect you. It's going to affect you in different ways, distractions, uh, noise, uh, other factors like technical issues. If you have computer, internet, or microphone problems, it's not going to record correctly. You're going to lose points. All of these different things. If you don't have an optimal computer, it's better not to do the exam online and go to the center. Okay. So as I mentioned, very good question, Fatima. No. The person, whether it's on at home, online, or in the center, the person does not ask you. It is a computer that asks you because you are recorded and it's your recording that they take and they send and then they grade. And that's how it is. So in this moment, we're going to take a look at just a question. There are special programs to help you practice and develop a little bit more your speaking practice and your audios that are similar. And it's not part of uh, Inglés Corporativo. It's not part of the ideas, but it's very useful for you to register and to get. This link is in the chat. This link is a artificial intelligence. That means that it is a computer. So you have an idea. It's already a computer that takes what you are speaking, takes your answer and analyzes it. 
It tells you where you have pauses. It records it. You can listen to yourself after the recording. You can see your goals. Remember, your goal in 45 seconds is to have approximately 70 to 80 words. So when you record yourself within that time, you should try to have about 70 to uh, 80 words within the 45 seconds, okay? So if you have one minute, that means that you should have a little bit more. You should be around 90 words, more or less, or almost close to 100. If you are at 30, 40 words in the 45 seconds, then you know you need to practice more. And that's the function of that link that I sent you. Now, you do have to register. It is free, but there are many different topics that you can choose and you can have it on there. Okay, so I'm going to share with you a little bit in case you do want to use it so you have a better idea of how it works, how it functions. Okay, so you're going to have a speaking assessment and you're going to have many different questions. These are limited, not like the TOEFL exam where it's academic. All of them here, you have some that are not, some that are, but you're going to have a good idea of how it functions and how it works. So when you go to, when you first log in, you're going to have this idea. You're gonna click on speaking test and you're gonna be able to get an idea. When you practice it, you're gonna get a result similar to this, okay? It's going to tell you your score in pronunciation, in fluency, in vocabulary and grammar. It, you're going to be able to see how you are in each area independently and overall. And you're also going to get similar something similar to this. It's going to tell you how many words you did in that one minute, how many mistakes you made and what were the mistakes. For example, vocabulary and grammar, and it'll give you a general score, okay? The same here. This one gave me 144 words and four bad pauses. And then also I have my opportunity to listen again and see what I can improve, right? Each one of them is going to give me, okay? So the important is, you don't have to use it, but there are a lot of resources for you to prepare and get yourself ready in order to do it when you do the speaking test. Okay. Are we ready for the speaking test? Yes. All right. We're going to have one volunteer so that we can see how we're going to do it correctly with our partners. Who would like to be the volunteer? Fatima, would you like to be our volunteer, Fatima? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Please leave your microphone on so that that way you can see and everybody else can have an idea. I will be your partner so that everybody knows exactly how it works. It's going to be super easy. We're going to have the timer. Okay, so we're going to turn on your microphone, Fatima. We're going to get ready. Ready? Yes. Okay, let me share with you and then we can do exactly like it's going to be on the exam. One, please listen carefully. Some research has indicated that pets are important for a person's mental health. Do you agree or disagree? Explain your point of view. Include details and examples to support your explanation. You may begin to prepare your response after the beep. Okay, uh, I have to start now, right? No. Okay. The 15 seconds, okay. Please begin speaking after the beep. I think pets are so important for the mental health. I mean, it might be. For example, I remember that I have a friend who was really sick and she started to, to feel better. And when she got a new pet, a new dog, a little dog, it was really cute. And she started to laugh and start to play with her with a little pet. And I remember that she got that pet because the doctor recommend her uh, the, because the doctor said that it will be really useful for her 
to start thinking about to take care about the pets and uh, how to um, make some fun with her. Thank you. That is okay. the plan. And that is my job. My job is to watch the 45 seconds because it doesn't have the 45 seconds. But the other times, yes. So as you can see, my partner, whoosh, right? The first time you do it, you don't, it's important to practice because you think, oh, I'm going to begin speaking. No, because the computer didn't start recording. Soon as you hear beep, now you may begin recording. That's when you begin recording because that's when the computer starts it. And you have those 15 seconds that go by very fast and you have to think about it. Fatima, when you organize your idea, what did you think about? What did you want to say when you organize your ideas? Uh, I got the, the main idea of the question. Mm -hmm. In this case, about two words, pet and mental health for the people. Mm -hmm. So I started to connect the idea, the ideas, uh, or try to remember uh, uh, a moment or a or experience that it will be useful for me to start talk about. Uh, yeah, basically. Okay, great. Now, how can how could she have gotten more points in her speaking? Of course, we always make mistakes and we get a little nervous. But another way to get more mistakes is not only to connect the ideas with one. She connected the ideas in a personal message. She connected it with her friend. Remember, she says, oh, my friend had a, a pet. And then she started to develop these ideas. That's great. That's one way to connect and get some points. Another is how to, it applies to society and how it applies to other areas. Now that it's become very popular, in our societies, they have many malls and stores that allow for pet friendly. I think this is due to the fact that mental research has and try to use a little bit more technical vocabulary. Try to use the vocabulary they give you in the question. If they mention research, mention research. If they try to give you uh, mental health, try to use that same word at least once or twice the terminology so that it uh, sounds a little bit better, right? Just like Fatima did. Only try to connect it in more than one area. Give one area details, another area details, another. So if you have times, remember the important is support your idea, not return and return and return. This is the hard part. Many times when we are speaking, we go back and try to do it again and try to explain again. No, you explained your idea, go to the next one. Go to the next and explain the next one. Is that a little bit better? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. So very good, Fatima. Great job. And we have here, some researchers has indicated that pets are important for personal health, for, for a person's health. Do you agree or disagree? Well, yes, I completely agree because I have seen, I have never had this experience, but I have seen this applied in many instances. I know that a friend of mine had some issues and that she received a pet and now she feels much better when she goes home and friendlier. Also, I have seen this in many different places around my country. Many malls and stores are now pet friendly. I think this is because research has indicated and people recognize that pets are important for them. I also know that many military service people, when they have traumas or psychological problems, many times they receive a pet like a dog or another animal that helps them maintain themselves calm. And I have also seen that research has shown that pets can be helpful for people that live by themselves, like elderly in different society. That's the idea, right? You one details, one detail. If you have time, you continue, continue, continue. And you can begin explaining woo, lots of things. It's all about how much time you have. But the important is not to circulate again and again the same answer. You already answer. Go to the next one. You already answered. Go to the next one. Is that a little bit better? So, so? Yes, it's a good technique, teacher. Okay. Yes, it's going to be, uh, it's only about uh, practice because it's really just getting used to speaking differently because when you speak with your friend, ah, Hey, what happened? How did it go? What? Uh, and you begin speaking, ah, with this, this. But when you begin in the test, you cannot begin 
you have to wait. You have 15 seconds that are necessary. After the 15 seconds, then you begin recording. After you begin recording, the others. Yes? Okay. So we're going to have a couple of things. Okay. Here, I'm going to show you a sample response so we can get a couple. Here, let me copy this link. Okay. Please check if you can open the link and make sure that you have it. Okay, does everybody have it? Yes, I have it. Okay, good. Yeah. Great. What I'd like you to do is before we begin those questions, I want you to take a look at the sample answers. On the right part of the screen, you're gonna have a little tab that's gonna say sample answer. Click it and you're going to be able to listen to the sample answers. You have two of them. I will give you two minutes for you to listen and then you have a better idea of how you can answer. Did everybody find it? Yes, did you find it right here? It should say right in the right corner, it should say sample answer. You click on it and then you'll be able to listen and read to two sample answers. Yes? Yes. Okay. I'll give you two minutes and then we'll analyze it and how to improve it for yourself. Sorry, teacher, I can I, I get lost in the instructions. Did you open the link, Walter? Yes, teacher, I'm open. Okay. Uh, 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 appearing my screen is star and sing and sing up free. No, uh, above that it should be test mode and study mode. Please click study mode. Okay, I got it. Now, yes, okay. yeah, okay, and then you're going to see the sample sample answer exactly. Okay. Go ahead, okay. got it.
Okay, everybody should have listened at least to one of the sample answers or both. Is that correct? No, not yet. Okay, I <laughs> let me know when we're ready. Okay, I hope now that everybody is, everybody did finish. Do you, does anybody have any questions? No? Okay, so as we can see, this is our first type of question that we have. We're going to practice it with our partners. We're going to try to answer it. Remember, it's important to work as a team because it's necessary to watch the time. The time is the hardest part to watch by yourself. So the partner is going to give you the 15 seconds, like in the exam that you have there. And then you're going to practice that question that we have. What is the question? It's the one. Should schools engage in character education to instill morals and values in children? It's clear? Okay. I recommend that if you are at home, I recommend the person speaking, start to record yourself, start practicing. Use your WhatsApp, use your audios, uh, voice notes, whatever you have, and start record yourself and listen to yourself. Record listen record listen because it's the only way to identify mistakes to improve yourself and to find areas of that can be changed okay so let's try it one time make sure both partners have the opportunity Manu, are you having some problems? Manu? Um, sorry, I don't know what happened. Okay. Manu, ah, you have two connections, Manu. Two connections? Yes, I see you two times. Are you on two different things like computer and cell phone? And no, I just was.
Yancy, everything okay? We have a problem, a problem with the parents. They, they don't have a microphone. Micro, microphone. <laughs> well, it's very difficult to take an online class with no microphone. It's a big problem, yes. <laughs> uh, I think your partner, who was your partner? Ailey. Ailey and... Julia. No. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Is that Carlos? Carlos, okay. Yes. All right. I see. Julia, Carlos. Okay, then yes, yes, yes. It's a little bit difficult to do a speaking test with no microphone. Don't worry, the important is that we you're trying. Did you have the opportunity, Yancy, to practice? I try, teacher, but it's difficult for me, <laughs> yes. No problem, that's why we practice. Remember, the important is developing yourself and how do you measure yourself? How do you know you're improving? Well, many different areas. One, how many sentences do you say in 45 seconds? Two, how many words can you say in 45 seconds? Three, what is the type of vocabulary you use? Four, how is your grammar? Do you use only basic forms, present, past, and future? Or do you use more complicated grammar structures, present, perfect, future, perfect, passive, uh, these types of different vocabularies? Do you use comparatives? Do you use that? This is the way that you measure yourself. Don't worry. The same the first day of class. Remember, everybody, hi, hey, relax. We have all week. We're going to practice. We're going to practice tomorrow. We're going to practice Wednesday. We're going to practice Thursday. Only the difference is that it's not a conversation class. It's with time. It's I practice in my dream. 45 seconds. <laughs> and you practice in your dreams. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> so. Thank you everyone for connecting. We are going to pause. Remember, this is only type one. This is type one. We also have to practice type two questions, which are the different types of questions, okay? And then there are other types of questions, but we continue tomorrow. So thank you so much. We will continue tomorrow. Have a great night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.